talk about some vibrato today. All right. What is vibrato? All right. Vibrato is when you take a note and you vary it in pitch up and down. Now we can't do this on piano. We do it on any stringed instrument, and some people do it on the on, on the brass instruments. Don't ask me about that. I don't do brass instruments. But on guitar, what we do is we grab that note. <laughs> note moving, we're going up and down with it in pitch. So the pitch isn't sitting here going mm, it's going mm. It's not really like we're, we're aiming for a pitch up or down of the pitch that I'm grabbing. I'm, I'm just trying to get a good wide vibrato. Now what's wide vibrato? All right, Wide vibrato is where you go a good decent amount of pitch change up and down. Now we don't just vibrate the string upward of the pitch, we go down also. So. Well, yeah. Here, it's it's nice and wide. It's not thin. That's not very big. You can barely hear. We want to hear that note sing. Nice and big. They're a nice and big vibrato. Now, why would we do this while playing notes? All right, vibrato it sustains your notes because you're creating some friction between your finger on the string and the pressure on that fret nearby creating some friction so it's making the string vibrate a little more it gives you a little more edge off or a little more uh, run for your money on that note next is we get some pitch correction let's say this guitar is a little out of tune you grab that note you're a little flat all right you bend it up a little bit you give it that vibrato and you sound like you're on pitch it's magic and then the last thing is it sounds good you ever heard somebody who doesn't have vibrato sounds kind of boring just sounds like Alright, okay, I had a vibrato on that one. So let's say I go Sounds a lot better. And then you, you like grab some grab some other notes, alright? Let's say you bend in a note. You don't hear it. Alright, that's kinda of boring. Huh? kind of Zach Wildish. All right, here's some ideas for y'all. We're going to use some vibrato. We're going to use some regular vibrato. All right, that's regular catching it. All right, all I'm doing here is I'm grabbing that note. I'm putting my finger down on it. Sometimes sometimes my middle finger. If, the, if you got your amp cranked up, you might want to follow this technique. Grab that with your middle finger. Put these, these strings down. So they don't make any noise. You don't push them down, you know, just rest this first finger on there. Stops it from making noise. So I can do this. One note. That's all you're hearing. One note. Now you can vibrate the string by wiggling your hand. Some people some people they, they put their their right right here on the on your finger. You put that right there against the fretboard and you just kind of pivot. Alright, some people do that method. I do the hold your hand free and kind of bounce the guitar a little bit. So you see the whole guitar is kind of bouncing with me here. I'm dropping my pick here. And then you can also do some Greg Howe type vibrato. I'm not good at it at all. But he does like No, don't ask me to do that. If you watch him do it, he does he does this thing where he's like he's sliding up and down. And I don't know how he does it. Sounds awesome. I can't do it. Now what you don't want to do is mimic his thing wrong. All right, don't grab that and just kind of wiggle back and forth in the fret because that's going to give you a very thin vibrato. I said you want wide vibrato, big vibrato. You want it to sound good. All right, next thing, bending vibrato. Just grab that note. It's going to take some more control. I want to get good at it. I put my thumb over the top. I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm pulling up that note and I'm putting the rudder. The way I do this, you know, you push that string up, you're gonna run into the next string. All right. What I do is I'm pushing down. My finger is sitting over the top of that string, so it's pushing the next string out of the way. So it's it's not you're, you're not hearing that. Right. All right. Next thing, use a whammy bar. Don't have a whammy bar on this guitar, but you just grab a note and start jiggling a little bit. Just kind of push on it a little bit and wiggle it back and forth. You don't want to. You don't want to just 
you don't want to go crazy on your whammy bar, all right? You can do that for, for other stuff, like your whammy harmonics and stuff, but that's my other video. And your last thing is harmonics, like your Zach Wilde. Zach Wilde doesn't sit there and just go, no, all right? You grab that note, and you're pulling it. You're pulling it the other way. Now, all right, here's something one of my boys told me. Doug Steele, good man. He's got good vibrato. Four down, two up. So, on your bottom four strings, vibrate that way. I'm gonna grab it. Actually, I'd do three down, three up, because on this third string, I vibrate. Alright? But the idea is if you try vibrating this low string upward, you're going to go off the fretboard. You try vibrating this lower string downward, you're going to go off the fretboard. That's not going to sound right. It's going to sound like It's not vibrato. That's some cool tricks, but, you know, it's not the right thing. But you want to grab that harmonic down here, wiggle that string big time. Screaming. All right, so there's your lesson for the day. Some people to listen to for good vibrato. Thanks to Shred Durst for helping me out with this. My buddy Doug Steele, also known as Shred Durst. All right, listen up. Paul Gilbert is a good guy. Dimebag Daryl, George Lynch, Greg Howe, master of all vibratos, man. No joke. Then Zach Wild. If you haven't heard his stuff, he doesn't know how to not use vibrato, so he'd be a good example to listen to. to to get all vibratos down. Malstein, and then one of my boys from In Flames, Bjorn Jalot, listen to some In Flames, those dudes got some vibrato, all right? But uh, that's your lesson for the day. Let me see what y'all got. Post me some videos. I wanna see what vibrato y'all got.